Financial tools are great to be able to help stop human trafficking, but they can also be used to help support victims and to help address human trafficking before it starts. There's a critical need for us to be able to look at our communities and address those vulnerabilities to be able to prevent trafficking from happening in the first place. How can we support the community, our community? How can we help our neighbors? How can we identify and stop our own activity by looking at the products that we're purchasing ourselves? I would love to see us as a community to be more engaged as customers and to be able to look at the supply chains of companies where we can stop buying those products and using our purchasing power. I call on you to act now. Modern slavery and human trafficking are atrocious crimes and there's much more we can do about it. This is not expensive, but it can save lives. So thank you for your support in that. Not moving forward is not an option. And I want CEOs and leaders in the financial industry to get involved in the fight against modern slavery and human trafficking. Bringing slavery to the end is a goal. And with your engagement, we can achieve that goal. My vision for this year is that the financial services industry really come to grips with what this crime is all about how they can play their part. We need each of you to be involved at your desk, at your motor vehicle, if you're a mobile banker and visiting the farms and visiting the companies. We need you to be aware of the environment. What does the business look like? Are all of the employees being treated fairly? Is the business running what you would expect it to run as a financial viable organisation but meeting their community standards. So money laundering, that is human trafficking and modern slavery, that category of offences, it's important that countries focus on the risk presented by this crime, and it is a crime, to their jurisdictions and include that in their national risk assessment. I hope that there are less persons trafficked and those that have been trafficked, that they are found. There's still many families who don't know where their loved ones are, um, assuming that they may be dead, but hoping that they may be alive, asking for the return of their loved ones because they believe they were trafficked. So I think my wish for us in this area is that we make tangible movement towards ending um, human trafficking. My dream is that over the course of the next year, we'll see innovation in the financial crimes compliance community worldwide to understand what labor trafficking in developing countries looks like in the financial footprints that are available to the compliance community, to understand what human trafficking looks like, for example, in the extractive sector in Africa, to understand what labor trafficking in the domestic work or construction in the Gulf looks like. Those kinds of typologies are going to really improve our ability to identify this problem and to take the steps we need to to address it. My dream for 2021 is that every single member of the financial sector will realize how important of a part you are playing in the movement to end modern day slavery. My name is Scott Lyles, and I'm proud to lead a global effort to detect and end modern day slavery and human trafficking. We can only stop the crime if we follow the money. Join me and the global ACAMS community in ending modern-day slavery, and human trafficking.